Hello and welcome to another fresh edition of Poly Playbook. We're serving up all the hot action, cool plays, and everything in between for Cal Poly Athletics. I'm Connor McCarthy. I'm Nate Edelman. I'm Brian Strong. Poly Playbook starts now. Who do you think will win the Super Bowl this year? I think the Patriots are going to win. Hi, I'm Joe Schatz and I'm here at Spano Stadium. I'm Megan Haley here at Staples Center. Myself will be taking on Sierra Island. The best pitcher in Big West softball history. Let's see how this goes. Tune in every week to Poly Playbook right here on Mustang News. Hello and welcome to another fresh edition of Poly Playbook. We're serving up all the hot action, cool plays, and everything in between for Cal Poly Athletics. I'm Garrett Brown. Poly Playbook starts now. The Red Hot Cal Poly volleyball team tried to win their 16th game in a row as they hosted UC Santa Barbara Friday night in Mock Mod Athletic Center. The 12th ranked Cal Poly volleyball team hosted UC Santa Barbara in Mod Athletic Center as the Mustangs went for their 16th win in a row. Cal Poly dominated the first set using a 10-2 run to take an 18-8 lead and never looked back, claiming the first set 25-14. Second set wasn't so easy as the Gauchos put up a fight, getting as close as just one point at 23-22. But the Mustangs were able to lock in and take a 2-0 set lead. In the third and final set, it was all Cal Poly as the Mustangs controlled it from the very beginning as UCSB never got any closer than five points. And the Mustangs put the finishing touches on another sweep. The Mustangs were led by the Young Cats as freshman middle blocker Meredith Phillips led the team with 12 kills. As Cal Poly won its 16th game in a row, the team is now 17-1 overall and still undefeated in the Big West Conference but they play their next three games on the road. To see our team just kind of settle and be consistent and, and methodical out there was uh, a good sign for us because I think it's you know certainly kind of that midway through point of conference where you can start being distracted by rankings or where you're at or RPI or things like that. Just, we all want it so badly. We all want to win and we all want to be a part of this team. And that really what makes us so special is because we have that bond on the court, off the court, like it's just a tight knit group of girls, it's awesome. Sawyer Milam, Mustang News. Next, the team will travel to take on CSUN on Friday, October 19th at 7 p.m. And that match will be televised on ESPN3. Sophomore slot back Drew Hernandez has been making a name for himself in the Mustangs last two games. Mustang News reporter Francisco Martinez has more. Got it, got it started with Wilson, that great tradition of quarterbacks. Uh -oh. Get in the edge, look out. Second level and more. That's Drew Hernandez. Sophomore slot back Drew Hernandez has stepped up in a big way for the Mustangs. Injuries on the Mustangs roster has put Hernandez in the spotlight, and he's delivering big time. Hernandez has rushed for an average of 124 yards in his last two games and has averaged 9.5 yards per carry against Montana and Sacramento State. For Hernandez, however, he isn't necessarily surprised by his output. I think it's just one of those things of where, you know, just taking what you've been taught and, you know, applying it to the field and just going, you know, every day, same thing, same routine, and, you know, giving, you're giving your opportunity and just taking it. Hernandez is taking advantage of these opportunities and showcased his talents with a 56-yard run against Sacramento State. After redshirting his first year and not playing at all in 2017, Hernandez is making strides to become the ultimate opportunist for the Mustangs. And head coach Tim Walsh agrees. One, he's a tough guy. I mean, he wants to play and he stuck it out, you know, when he wasn't getting playing time and didn't complain and just kept continuing to practice. And all the time, coaches, we always talk about opportunity, that your opportunities are snapping the fingers away. And when your opportunity comes, if you take advantage of it, you might play for a long time. You might become the guy. And, uh, you know, I think that he's taken that to heart and he's had the opportunity. And when he's had the opportunity, he showed that he can play and play very well at this level. Hernandez is no stranger to making long runs, having been a key player at De La Salle High School in Concord, California. In his high school career, Hernandez rushed for 3,609 yards in three seasons on the varsity team and averaged 9.7 yards per carry his senior year, helping the Spartans win their 24th straight CIF North Coast Championship. It, it was amazing. It's like one of the things that you can't you can't get that experience anywhere else. You know, uh, getting taught by you know a great gr group of coaches and being around like an essential real brotherhood. It's it's one of the best feelings. Francisco Martinez, Mustang News.
Hernandez and the Mustangs are set to return to action on Saturday, October 20th in the take on UC Davis in the Battle of the Golden Horseshoe in Alex G. Spano Stadium. The 2018-2019 men's basketball season is just around the corner. Reporter Jay Serrano has a look at this year's squad after the Green Gold scrimmage. Fans got their first look at the 2018-2019 men's basketball team as the season unofficially kicked off with the Green and Gold intra-squad game Saturday at Mott Athletic Center. Senior guard Marcellus Garrick led the Green team to a 52-49 victory, putting up 17 points, and senior guard Donovan Fields matched him, putting up 17 points for the Gold team. After the game, freshman forward Daxon Carr defeated Fields in the dunk contest in his first ever appearance in Mott Athletic Center. Uh, it's crazy. I mean, all the people who came out and supported us, that was really cool. I haven't experienced something like that, so it was interesting for me. The team's greatest strengths are on-court chemistry and how well the returners have stepped into leadership roles. Chemistry. We have truly a, a, a chemistry, guys. We have seven returners that are being great mentors, coaches, and friends to the six, seven new guys. And anytime you have leadership, you gotta have followers. And we have guys that are willing to listen to the leaders. And that kind of brings a family-like atmosphere that's critical to having success. This game gave the team a chance to build on that chemistry and work out any remaining issues. And it was really good to get out there with, with all the new guys. Um, it's good to get um, with the new team and just see how we um, gel together and see how the chemistry is flowing. The team's immediate goal is to continue improving, but the ultimate goal is the same as every year, getting back to the NCAA tournament. Hey, number one goal we have every single year, keep getting better. You know, we want to stay healthy, but I don't control that. You got to have a great attitude, you got to have great effort, and that will allow you to improve every game. You improve every game, you can get, to, you get, get from anywhere to first in the conference, to winning the conference championship, getting back to the big dance is ultimately the goal every year but you can't get there if you don't keep improving throughout the year. The Mustangs will continue to work out the remaining issues before their home opener against Menlo College on November 7th. Jay Serrano, Mustang News. The men's soccer lost to CSUN in Northridge on Saturday by a final score of 1-0. The Mustangs did not allow CSUN a single shot on goal in the final 68 minutes of that match, but that was negated by Matador's Ford scoring a goal in, 20, in the 22nd minute of the match. Senior goalkeeper Simon Boehm made just one save in the match for the Mustangs. Junior forward Diego Alonso took two shots on the goal during the match as well. The loss leaves the Mustangs with one point in the Big West Conference standings and an eighth place in the Big West Conference standings. The Mustangs begin a two-game homestand on Wednesday when they host Sacramento State at 7 p.m. in Alex G. Spano Stadium. Cal Poly women's soccer team fell to Long Beach State Thursday night at George Allen Field. The Mustangs held the 49ers scoreless for majority of the game until the second overtime. Alyssa Laramie found the far post in the 103rd minute to win the game for Long Beach State 1-0. The team is now in seventh place in the Big West Conference standings. The Mustangs will host Hawaii at home on Friday, October 19th at 7 p.m. as part of the Mustangs Family Weekend at Alex G. Spano Stadium. The Cal Poly men and women's cross-country teams competed among a majority of the top 30 teams in the country at the Wisconsin Pre-Nationals on Saturday. The women's team took 14th place in the 6K, led by Cal Poly junior Katie Izzo, with a time of 21 minutes and 13 seconds. Cal Poly junior Evan Jamison paced the men's team, clocking in at 24 minutes and 36 seconds for the 8K, earning the team 15th place overall. Meanwhile, Eight Mustangs competed at the Bronco Invitational, hosted by Santa Clara at Balins Park. Cameron Bottinen led the men's team with a performance of 24 minutes and 17 seconds in the 8K, finishing in 17th place. Delaney Fitzsimmons finished in 61st in the 6K with a time of 21 minutes and 38 seconds for the women's team. The Mustangs will now have two weeks to prepare for the Big West Championships on Saturday, October 27th. Here's a look at some of the upcoming games for the Mustangs. The Cal Poly football team will host Big Sky Conference leader UC Davis in the Battle of the Golden Horseshoe on Saturday, October 20th at 4 p.m. The 12th ranked volleyball team will begin a three-game road trip at CSUN on Friday, October 19th at 7 p.m. and will be televised on ESPN3 as the Mustangs will try to extend their winning streak to 17 games. And the men's soccer team hosts Sacramento State on Wednesday, October 17th at 7 p.m. Well, that's all we have for Poly Playbook Sports Action this show. You can follow us on Instagram, Snapchat, or log in to mustangnews.net for continuous Cal Poly sports coverage. I'm Garrett Brown. Have a great rest of your week.